Kristen. My name is Ellen. I am the occupational therapist here at Baptist Health, and you're here today for an evaluation with me to go ahead and transfer therapists. I understand you've already had some therapy um, with your OT back home in Nashville, but you've recently moved to Paducah, so we want to continue your therapy. Do you want to tell me a little bit about, you know, what happened? I know you're um, eight weeks out of total wrist fusion surgery on your left hand. Mm -hmm. So is that your dominant hand or do you write right-handed? My right hand is my dominant hand. Okay, perfect. And how did the surgery go? Have you talked to your doctor since then? Had any follow-ups or yeah, anything? Yeah, my doctor said it looks really good. It's okay. progressing the way it should. Now, did you have a traumatic fall to cause the arthritis in your wrist to develop or was it just kind of a chronic thing? Yeah, just a chronic and osteoarthritis, so they think that just overuse of my okay. wrist. Yeah. Were you ever involved in any sports or anything like that? Um, I played tennis some, so I think it probably okay. has an effect on it, just working outside. I like to work in front of flowers and stuff. So. Yeah, okay. So I to garden and tennis. I was never a big tennis player, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so before your surgery, did you try any conservative treatments? Like, did you attend OT for your wrist um, prior to surgery? Did you take any medications to help um, decrease the pain? I just took some inflammatory medicine okay. and um, ice and rest, but it just didn't, didn't help very much. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you remember when you first started having problems with your wrist, when you first started noticing like the crunchy feeling and the pain? And it's been a few years, but it's just pro progressively gotten worse. So okay. I finally decided to go see a doctor and get it done. Yeah, get it fixed. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 62 years old. Okay. So, would you say that it you started kind of noticing it when you were in your late 50s? Yeah, or? late 50s. Okay. And so I actually have a little questionnaire for you. I'm going to ask you these questions. It just kind of gives me a better insight to what your day is like, how your injury kind of affects your day, and the different activities that you enjoy. Okay. So on a scale of one to five, one would be you have no difficulty performing these tasks at all. Okay. Five would be you can't do them. Okay. okay. And so three would be they're moderately difficult. So you would open a tight or a new jar. So you're like unscrewing a jar lid. Yeah, I'm not able to do that. Not able to. What about doing heavy household chores? Um, it's severely difficult. Okay. Yeah. And these are all, you know, from after your surgery right. and everything. So can you carry a shopping bag in your left arm? Um, wrist or anything? I wasn't, I was told not to carry weighted stuff, so I haven't been, I haven't tried okay. it. Okay, so. perfect. Okay. Yeah, so. That's okay, little interruption. So when you're showering, do you have trouble reaching back and washing your back or anything? Yes, but I can do it. It's probably moderate difficulty. Okay. Do you use a knife in that hand to cut your food? Or? I usually try to use my right hand. Okay. So. That's okay. kind of you know, yeah. not applicable. So do you still um, try to play tennis at all? I know you know your right hand wasn't affected, but... Yeah, I have played it some since the surgery, okay. just kind of practicing on my own. But I haven't had any issues, just try to keep my swelling down. Okay. So. So, do you think you have a little more trouble playing now, or does it affect you at all? Um, I don't think it affects me. Okay. So probably like a two. On these, on our next question, one would be not at all, five would be extremely, and three would be moderately again. Okay. So, during the past week, to what extent has your arm, shoulder, or hand problem interfered with your normal social activities with family, friends, neighbors, or groups? Um, probably a two. Okay. Just due to pain and soreness. Okay. So you still kind of get to go out and yeah. do normal activities. That's perfect. During the week, were you limited in your work or other regular daily activities as a result of your arm, shoulder, or hand problem? Yes. Okay. So how probably, limited do you think you were? Probably moderately limited. Okay. And in what areas kind of is it affecting you? Um, just my, like, getting ready and daily okay. occupations. Do you have any current arm, shoulder, or hand pain? Um, just soreness, no pain, okay. just like a dull soreness. So, one would be a none for pain, a five would be considered extreme pain, the worst pain you've ever felt. Would you kind of say it was maybe like a two mild yeah. pain, it's just kind it's of upset? Yeah. And, do you ever feel any tingling, like pins and needles in your arm, shoulder, or affected hand? No tingling. Perfect. 
And during the past week, how much difficulty have you had sleeping because of the pain in your arm, shoulder, or hand? Do you have troubles? I know you have to sleep in the brace and everything. Yeah. Does that make you uncomfortable? It's a little uncomfortable. Probably a two or a three. Okay. okay. Now, does your wrist affect your, what do you do for your job? What do you do for work? I'm actually retired, so I have tired. That sounds yeah, nice. grandkids, and so I just okay. keep them. So it's a little difficult because they're young. Okay. So do you watch them every day or just a few days throughout just the week? Just a few days throughout the week, yeah. I have grandkids too. I love them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to say that you do not currently work because you're retired. And as far as any, I know you play tennis, so as far as any sports that you did play, um, do you, like, have you had to modify your technique at all for playing tennis based mm -hmm. on your wrist? No. Okay. Um, do you, I'm sure you still, you said you still participate in tennis, so yeah. you haven't had any difficulty with that. Are you playing as well as you would like to be playing? No. Okay. You want to say two or three? Is it moderately? Probably a moderate. Okay. Yeah. Are you spending as much time playing tennis as you were before your surgery? No, I'm okay. just kind of. Okay, that's all for my question assessment. I have a few things I want to run through with you, okay? And I'm going to show you what to do before we do it, and that way I kind of know what you're doing, okay? Okay, so what I want you to do first for me, and we can stand up if it's easier for you. That way you're not running into this table. I want you to reach your hands up like you're touching the sky, and I just want to make sure you can do that with both hands, okay? I want you to go as high as you can. Okay. Perfect. And now I want you to lower them back to your side for me and come out in front of you. Awesome. And I want you to do the same thing, but reach them both straight back behind you. Okay. Perfect. So that all looks really good. Have you had any elbow or shoulder pain at all? Um. At the beginning, just right after surgery, a little bit. Okay. Just, I think just from keeping it so stiff and not moving it as much, but right, it's, kind of protecting yeah. it some. It's better. Now. Okay. Have you had any pain at your incision site at all? A little soreness. It's very tender to touch. Okay. Okay. I want to actually do a little bit of. Um, looking at your wrist now and your scar, would you mind sitting it up here for me? Your scar, does this hurt at all or anything? Just tender. It doesn't Just tender. Hurt, yeah. It doesn't look like your swelling's too bad and you don't have much redness or anything in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have you prop your hand up like this for me and I want you to just straighten your wrist straight up if you can, okay? So what I want to see you do I want you to bend your wrist as far down as you can, but if you feel any pain or it's too tight, you stop, okay? Okay. So just go ahead and slowly bend it as far as you can. And you let me know when you get to the point where you need to stop, okay? Okay, that's probably as far as it'll go. Okay. So I want to actually go ahead and get a number on that one, okay? okay? So if you'll straighten it all the way back up for me. I'm going to, and when I tell you to go, I'm going to have you go ahead and bend it back down for okay. me, okay? Okay, go ahead and just go as far as you can. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to do the same thing, but this time I want you to go backwards instead, okay? So just bend it as far as you can, and if you feel any pain, you can stop. Okay, that one's tighter. It is tighter. Yeah. That's totally fine. Go back to straight up and down for me, and we're going to measure you again, okay? And go back one more time for me. This time I want you to lay your hand just like you have it flat on this towel, and I'm going to have you bend your hand in towards your thumb for me, just your wrist, okay? okay. And then you'll bend back out to your pinky, okay. and let's see what that looks like. Let me know if you have any difficulty at all. Okay. That's pretty tight. It, it is pretty tight. Fine. Okay, yeah. you'll just straighten it straight back out for me. Okay, so if you'll bend it towards your thumb again. You just go as far as you can, but you don't have to go any certain length or anything. OK. 
okay? And this time, I want you to actually do the same thing, but I want you to bend it towards your pinky for me, okay? Okay. And let's see how far you can go with that one. Okay. Does that cause any pain or tightness? Just tightness. It's okay. kind of sore, but not like a pain. Okay. Do you feel any sharp pains at all, any stabbing pain? Perfect. So you can straighten it back out for me. Okay, and if you'll just do it one more time, you're going to get a good number. Okay. Okay, this time I'm going to test the strength through your fingers. Okay. Um, I know that your fingers haven't been moving a whole lot or anything since you've had it in the splint. So we're going to test your strength okay. and then we'll go back and we'll go ahead and just make sure you have normal range of motion and everything. Okay. So this is a pinch dynamometer. It's like a pinch gauge. So what I want you to do first is you're going to put it between your two fingers and I want you to squeeze as hard as you can between your index finger and your thumb. Okay. okay. So you'll just, I'll do it first and kind of show you. You'll just squeeze and hold and then you'll let it go and I'll get a number and that'll kind of tell us how strong you're able to squeeze it. Okay. So you squeeze when you're ready. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can. Okay. This time I want you to come in and I want you to squeeze your thumb on top just like this. Okay. And put your index finger, have it kind of laterally along the side. You'll squeeze as hard as you can for me one more okay. time. Well, actually, we have two more times, really, but <laughs> we're almost done. Okay, so, is that like this? Yes, ma'am, that's perfect. Good job. I know, this thing is pretty tough <laughs> to use. And this last one, we're going to actually use three fingers. So okay. we'll use your two and your thumb on the bottom, okay? Okay. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as far as you can. Good job. You had more that time. Okay. Now what I want you to do is we'll go back and we'll kind of just look at your fingers a little bit. I want you to start with your fingers straight up in the air for me. Okay. And I want to see if you can make two fists. I want you to slowly roll down into it, bend those fingers as much as you can for me. Are you feeling any pain with that? Just tightness. Okay. I think I could go a little more. Okay. Okay, good job. Can you do your thumbs as well? Do they fold in? Yeah. Awesome. And. I just want you to go back and just straighten them all the way out for me as far as you can go. Do you have any pain at all? Mm -mm. Okay. Do you feel any pain through your wrist? Um, no pain. Just okay. It's kind of tender for me. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is I just want to make sure there's not a lot of swelling through your wrist at all. Okay. Um, and through you know your thumb and a couple of your fingers and everything. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna run this tape measure across and kind of look and see. What we've got through here, I'm going to just go underneath. Let me know if I'm pressing too hard and hurting you or anything. Okay, it doesn't look like you have much swelling at all. That's good. There was a lot at the beginning, but trying to ice a lot. You are icing yeah. it? That's perfect. I'm going to do your other one. We're going to compare. if this hurts at all. Okay, so you do have a little bit of swelling in this one, but that's to be expected. Right. The more that you use it and we start to mobilize it some, that swelling is going to go away. Okay. Okay, and I just want to check a few of your fingers. Let's check your thumb. You haven't had any problems using your thumb or mm -hmm. anything? It was kind of stiff at the beginning, but it's I'm kind sure. of all of it when you don't use them much that it sticks. Yeah. You have no swelling in either thumb, so that's perfect. And then I have a few questions for you. 
just to wrap everything up, we're almost done. I know this takes a while. So if you had to pick a goal, you know, after a month spent with me in therapy, what would you like to be able to do? Say something that you had, you were able to do totally fine before surgery and now you're having a little bit of trouble with. What's something we could work on together? Just be fully independent, getting ready. And I feel like I'm having to rely on people a little bit to use my rooms. Okay. I'm like doing just daily chores and getting back to play tennis as well. Okay. And I understand that you do have some precautions. Um, your surgeon doesn't want you lifting anything above five pounds right now. So have you been adher adhering to those precautions yes. pretty well? Yeah. I know that really limits your cooking yeah. and taking care of your grandkids. Yeah. That's the stuff that I really want to get back to doing. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can get some strength back in that wrist for you and get that going and get that figured out. Are there any activities that increase your pain a lot, make it worse? If I'm just doing a lot throughout the day, it's worse, but... Okay. No particular activity makes it worse, just it, just the amount of activity I try to do. Okay, have you noticed it's worse in the, at night or in the morning or during um, the day? In the morning, it's really stiff. I guess it's from at night sleeping and not moving a bunch. And then kind of feels weak at night. So. Okay. Have you had to pick a type of pain? Is it just stiff? Is it dull and achy? Is it sharp? Um, Stiff and dull and achy, kind of. Okay. See, you said your right hand is your dominant extremity, so that's mm -hmm. perfect. Your scar looks awesome. Your skin condition looks really good. You have good color. Um, everything looks really good. So what we're going to do is write you up a treatment plan, get everything going. I'll probably have you come in twice a week for therapy for four weeks. Okay. And we'll see how that works out, and then we'll evaluate again and kind of do a checkup and see where you're at. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You did awesome. Thank you.